We know that to win in November, less than a year from now, it's going to take everyone here out knocking on doors, making contributions, talking to their neighbors. So I want to thank you for being part of this movement that's going to put Joe Cunningham in the House. Welcome to the next congressman for the 1st Congressional District, Joe Cunningham. All right, all right. Who's ready to take back this house in 2018? Ladies and gentlemen, this wave is growing. I can tell you that right now. Every single day, the wave gets bigger and bigger. But the wave I want to talk to you today is about the wave that's going on in this country right now. It's the same wave that happened in Alabama on Tuesday. This wave, this wave is getting stronger, it's getting bigger, because people are waking up and saying to themselves, we deserve better. Our country deserves better. We need a congressman here in the 1st District who will go up there and fight for health care. We need a congressman here in the 1st District who will go up there and fight for your rights, including voting rights. We need a congressman who instead of going to D.C. and enabling President Trump and doing everything that he says, we need a congressman who will go up there and hold that man's feet to the fire! We need each and every one of you on that wave in 2018. We need each and every one of you all on this team. And I'm going to close and I'm going to say one thing. For anybody who's ever doubted the Democratic Party, for anybody who's ever doubted that we stand for the middle class, we stand for the people. For anyone out there who doubts that this party is not alive and well, for anyone who thinks what happened in Virginia, what happened in New Jersey was a one-off or two-off, or anybody who thinks that Alabama was a fluke, I got news for you. Buckle up, because we're just getting started here. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Governor O'Malley.